Okay, today I'm thinking let's just work on a reset GUI and although I might have done this before, I don't remember, I was asked to make a lava brick GUI, so, or a kill brick, so, or not GUI, just a kill brick, sorry. Okay, so today we're going to make one of these give you a reset GUI, one of these the kill brick, and I was thinking since this is red we'll make this the kill brick and this the reset GUI thing so let's just get to the easy work first okay now we know that this is brick 2 the red one and that this is brick 1 you know what I might do right now yeah I'm gonna do this for the rest of eternity okay we're going to change this to gray brick and this to red brick that way it's a lot easier for everyone to keep track of what's going on now of course I gotta change the names up here but that's not that hard and red brick okay hmm we will need this function show GUI, but we don't really need the function itself because it's only going to be when you hit the gray brick. So we can just replace that line. And yeah. Okay. Now, let's work on the red brick here. Oh. Shoot, or I'm kind of commenting. Aha, uh -huh, I fail. Embarrassing. Oh well. Okay, so we do the game dot workspace dot red brick dot touched connect function hit. We know what that means. Then if hit I don't really know how to explain that other than it's just the hit itself and then its parent is whatever hit it. Okay or maybe no I'm wrong about that the hit is whatever hit it like say your right leg touched a brick the, your right leg becomes the hit of that brick and your left leg touches a brick and then your left leg becomes the hit of that brick okay so hit that parent um, find first and you don't have to call it hit you can call it something like blah 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 but I just go hit because it's common if hit dot parent find first child humanoid and game dot players find first child hit dot parent dot name okay so you've done all that just wanted a quick refresher because it's been forever since I made a tutorial I'm sorry about that my uh, video editing software kinda stopped working and I had to find a reason why and I fixed it and that's all that matters so Let's get back to work. Let me move my cursor out of the way here. Okay. Hit dot parent um dot humanoid or you can do the whole find first child humanoid. Or you can do humanoid because really what everything is workspace is an array it has the data properties array or subarray the behavior subarray and we'll get we'll work on subarrays later but i'm just going to name them and then it has children subarray which all have their own subarrays and yeah by the way subarray means because I might be pronouncing it to where you can't understand, is S U B A R array sub array. So it's like a secondary array within another array, and an array within an array is basically what it is. And anyway, we're just going to keep it this way because I don't want to type it up again. <laughs> and now hit that parent that humanoid that health. I'll show you all of this when we go into the test. Um. Anyway, 
I've probably shown it all to you before, but I don't care. You're learning anyway. Hit that parent humanoid dot health equals zero. Don't need the thing there. Anyway, now we're just going to go to place one, tools, test, place solo. And now we wait. And I wanted to show you all my new site thing. It's really just, I didn't even pay for a free, uh, for a uh, domain name. I just used Weebly really quick, really cheap. Thank you, Weebly. And I'm not going to endorse any further. And uh, these are all the buttons to contact me with. The higher up it is, the more I use it. So, I use Twitter a lot. But, I next to never use Tumblr. Next to never use Google+. And, I don't check my Yahoo very often either. Because, yeah. Anyway. So, it loaded. Okay. This is, by the way, how I look now. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, changed how I looked, finally. Only took me an eternity. Uh, hold on, that's loud. Like in my earphones right now. Um, don't know why I have two of these. Okay, I get it. This one's my headphones, this one's my main speakers. There. Maybe that's what the beeping was last time. Read the comments of my last video, Tutorial 9, and you'll know what the beeping is. Anyway, so now, before I step on the brick, let me go to Player. Okay, so Workspace Player. Okay, that's, and when I touch it, one of my legs will be the hit, or both, but it only counts one. So one of my legs, and then Humanoid. Okay, it's the health thing and whenever you see another person you'll see their name with the bar of health that's the humanoid and Roblox puts the status and thing in there for something I don't know what sorry didn't mean to hit my mic there um, anyway I was showing you all the health so the health is this max health is the max health can be and health can be anything under max. So, a max health, I think it might, it could go below zero, I'm sure, but then you're just constantly dying and it's useless. So, health 100, and we're going to change this to zero. If you'll watch, watch the health. I'll just show you. Look, I'm, I'm going to walk on it. Boom. And now I'm dead. Okay. There's a lot of complicated ways to kill people, but I just don't like doing complicated stuff because it's quite useless. So, back here. I know this is being long, but deal with it. You don't have to watch anyway, so, yeah. Uh, reset GUI there. Now, we already got this function. We did this in the last tutorial, and it is done. All we need to do now is change the GUI itself. So, GUI for video. And we aren't even going to change how it looks. Because if you might remember, it looks a little like that. Okay? But we're not going to change how it looks at all. What we are going to do, and I'm keeping, even though I could work it like we do the bricks and put one central script that finds the two things, I'm using the simpler way because it's a little bit more local and it's another way to script and I'd like to show you all the most I possibly can anyway so this is script for button one I'm gonna change its name to button one script that way it's nice and easy to tell and we're going to close that and we're going to name this button two script there Okay, now, let's change this to kill people. I'll show you the descendants. Okay, players, game, dot players, dot player, although your username is most likely not player, There's, but in test mode it always is. Backpack, that's your gear, 
like this, okay? Starter gear, that's that's your starter pack basically. Just everything when you die you get it. But backpack is separate because if you die you don't keep all the weapons unless they're in your starter gear. You just lose them and they're gone. And the player GUI. I'm pretty sure I showed you this all earlier. But this is the GUI that holds everything like your health. And yeah. So if I were to say make this invisible I have no health. Okay. So. Now let me show you this. Okay. Script dot parent or script dot parent either one works script dot parent dot logo frame or no wait that's another dot parent but the logo frame is the second parent of the script think of it as the grandparent okay then it's the parents parent the grandparent then the frame is the parents parents parent or the parents 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 or the grandparents parent or the great grandparent okay and then this is the parents, parents, parent, uh, way too many parents, just, we'll keep track later, parent, um, that's the great, great grandparent, then this is the great, great, great grandparent, and then finally we get a fourth great, and great, 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 great grandparent, and we can go all the way up to game, and yeah, now, let's go back to this, and I will write, the script script dot parent okay so one let's count this out right now one two three four okay wait script one two three four five six so there are six parents to get to the player because this is going to be the player GUI it, when it's inserted and so the player is always above the player GUI so you always add one so one two three Four, five, six. So we gotta do this six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> Script up blah, blah 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 blah. That character, because every player has its character. And a character is well their player in the game. It just automatically finds it for them. So that character, that humanoid. This is all pretty repetitive. Health equals zero. Okay. So we're just gonna copy that line real fast. Close it. Go into button script two. But we're gonna change it up just so you all can remember. Find f first child humanoid that health there okay so I made it more complicated than it needs to be but you should be happy for that so now I'm going to make this dumb GUI thing invisible I'm going to copy it I'm going to go into this game I'm going to delete this one and put the new one in and now I'm pretty sure we never changed this one, right? So let me go and check that the script and the test is good. Yep, it's good. So now we can just walk over to our kill brick. And, um... Now, if we step on this... Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Workspace that script line three. Okay. There's an error on line three, which would actually be this. Oh. Oh, okay. W I have player. I guess I shortened it up in the last one, but we didn't do that this time. So, let's just make this nice and easy for ourselves. Copy this, because I'm lazy. Local player. Oh, you guys might want to see what I'm typing, huh? there now we'll copy this nope we can't copy it from here Darn. okay copy it. no actually we don't even need to do that we can just copy what's in the script then we can scroll up and go here paste and now I want to show you all something really cool I found 
even though it's already been loaded and stuff, if you go down, disable it, and then enable it, it reloads the script entirely. So now we see our GUI, and we can click it, and we die, as you can tell by the health, but this GUI covers us up pretty well. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial on how to make kill bricks, as can be shown there, and how to make a reset GUI, okay? Now, remember, the parents can and will vary depending on um, how many parents there are. So, if you follow exactly as I do, though, you should put the same script in. Anyway, I don't know what I'll do for the next tutorial, but it'll be awesome. No, I'm not actually going to close that. I'm just... Bye.